Hey everybody, this is Mike Grover. I'm here to give you a demo of the Tweet Cooker product. First, let's take a quick look at it in context. Here's a marketing blog. On the right hand side, you'll see a widget built of tweets that have to do with marketing. It was created by selecting specific terms and only allowing tweets that contain those terms to appear. Let's go over to Tweet Cooker and see how it was built. On the right hand side of Tweet Cooker, you will always see a preview of the widget you are building. On the left hand side, you can enter content and various design elements for creating your Twitter widget. I'm going to create one right now on the Samsung Rogue telephone. So, first, I'm going to add in the brand name Samsung Rogue, and then I'm going to build that widget. Immediately, what shows up are only tweets that contain the phrase Samsung Rogue. Now, let's say this person isn't really providing you with a lot of value. So you want to eliminate them. So you put a minus sign and their name, and you rebuild the widget. What appears is the exact same feed with the exception of that person. Let's expand it a little bit and make it about Samsung Rogue or the iPhone. I'm going to enter the word or iPhone and I'm still going to leave that person muted. Rebuilding the widget, you'll see that now it contains tweets that have to do with Samsung and the iPhone. You can add a headline. You can determine how big it is. You can fit it into whatever space you have on your site. You can determine how many tweets will fit into it. You can opt to include the person's profile picture or not. Awesome. You can adjust the color of the border, the thickness, and you can change the background color of it as well. Let's build the widget and see what it looks like. Now we have a tall widget that contains content about the Samsung Rogue and the iPhone, but eliminating that person who we determined was not adding value. Finally, you can opt to include the search box at the bottom or not. This is a useful function because it will allow your users to search Twitter directly from your site. And you can add a follow me on Twitter link at the top. So there, we, there you have it. A widget that's ready for your site that contains a headline, a link for building your own followers, and the types of tweets that you want to appear on your site, blog, or social network. To get it there, just grab the widget code. Copy that code and paste it where you want it to go on your site. That's pretty much it. Thanks.